Hey guys, so yes, if you think that they are not deliberately, if you think there's not deliberately people out there um, trying to turn boys into girls and girls into boys uh, against their will, um, think again. I want you to listen um, to maybe the first. This is an interview with a Jeff um, Younger, and um, you know, um, kudos to. Uh, Dustin Demos, he does some good work, and um, he's uh, interviewing this father of um, James. James Younger is his son, and um, basically what's happened, he's um, going through the court systems. They're actually, is, um, he's separated from his um, wife, and uh, the wife is um, trying to make turn the boy into a girl against his own will. Um, I'll, I'll play you the first um, uh, minute or two, because, you know, uh, um, you know, Dustin probably doesn't want me um, to, you know, uh, yeah, I'll play the first minute and you can go over to Dustin's channel and watch the rest of it. Uh, if you're so inclined, I suggest you do that. Um, but I'm going to spread this far and wide. This is, uh, you know, the, it's, it's basically child abuse, uh, definitely, uh, you know, when the boy returns to, you know, spend time with the son, he hates everything to do, you know, with um, girls, you know, uh, that's being put upon him by his mother. Um, you know, he, in this interview, the father says he even hates some uh, boxes, you know, uh, pants, because they look like girls. Um, now, apart from anything else, what is that going to do when, you know, when at his mother's he has to be a girl and then but he returns to his father and he can be himself I mean that's got to do something to his um, mental state if nothing else uh, I ask you guys to have a look at this video share it far and wide um, because um, I don't think this is a an isolated case by any means um, I'll let, yeah, like I say, I'll let you uh, listen to the first uh, minute or so, and um, it'll give you an inkling of what's going on, but um, they're basically, uh, I think the mother's uh, now trying to, you know, get the little boy's uh, penis uh, chopped off, and, you know, have surgery to get it taken off. Uh, he's He was given, the, the James was given... Um, uh, what would you call it, um, drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, you know, before puberty that would, um, stunt the, his, the growth of his penis. Um, so she was doing everything she could to stop this boy being himself a boy. Um, I would actually suggest there is way much more than this than meets the eye, but the father's having to, he's battling and all, you know, you know, um, you know, he needs as many people's support as, as as he can get. So, he has got a website, uh, and I think he, he says the website in um, this first minute or two. So, yeah, if you can bear with me, guys, and just, you know, listen to this. Uh, I think many people will be absolutely astounded by this. Um, if anybody knows, has looked into this, the... the um, Justice is uh, definitely, uh, he says in this interview that, um, and I've heard it say before that um, basically when it comes down to it, uh, the court system, the judges, etc. don't even obey the uh, own rules that they should be abiding by. Now, a lot of people probably won't believe this, but you know, if you've looked into the various rabbit holes, you uh, it's true now I'll shut up and play um, first minute or so of this and um, Dustin if you ever watch this um, good on you for doing this interview and you're doing good work um, and I hope I'm not breaking copyright with uh, you know um, playing the first minute or so so let's have a look that this guy's fighting back and he is trying to save his child from 
uh, what, what amounts basically to a forced sex operation, um, you know, the mother and the state teaming up against him. So uh, without further ado, it's your story. I should let you tell it. Um, thank you for taking the time. Obviously, I want to help bring attention to this. And I'm, I'm sure that you want to say what you're allowed to say. And I know that you have limitations and such. But let's talk about what we can talk about and, and bring some attention to this important issue. So, Jeff, go ahead. Run with it. It's your show. Okay, Justin, thanks. Um, I, I'm the father of twin boys, James and Jude. Um, at the age of five, well, really at the age of three, I first became aware that my ex-wife was telling my son that he's a girl. And if you go to savejames.com, you can see a video of that. But that was literally, what you're seeing is five minutes after I learned about this, I had the presence of mind to whip out my phone and record a short conversation with my son. And he's very clear. Mom, he, he believes he's a girl because mommy says he's a girl. Mommy puts him in dresses and you know, puts fair polish on him and actually tells him he is actually a girl. Prior to leaving the home and before our split, you know, I was a stay-at-home dad for two and a half years. So six months after my sons were born, I raised my sons uh, until I left the house. One of the things that caused me to stick around was... Uh, Miss Georgilis had been putting my son into timeouts and saying, uh, you know, the monsters eat boys. You better not be a boy. The monsters eat boys and putting him in timeout. And there's a number of other things like this, which I can't talk about because they're going to be subject to litigation, but things like that. So there you go, guys. Um, yeah. That's just um, anyone who's concerned about, um, you know, the... Uh, powers of be uh, trying to you know turn boys into girls and girls into boys and uh, a lot of this is not natural um, you know obviously if you've got one of your parents telling you you're a girl and you you know you, you, your parents are basically gods at that age you're going to listen to them so it's pretty straightforward to me um, like I say uh, when when uh, James goes home to his father, he uh, he basically gets back into mode the mode of being his normal self, and he hates anything to do with um, girl stuff. Um, and he goes into all that. He tells you about the, the, the tr trouble he's currently having and the going through the court system. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, share this far and as wide as I can, and. Um, Come what may.